Hey everybody, it's Sue at the Marion Library and I've got some new nonfiction for you. Uh, the first one is by Colin Jost and it is called Punchable Face. It is a memoir. He is um, a writer for Saturday Night Live and he also appears on Saturday Night Live in their weekend updates. Uh, so this is just a tale about his life growing up and um, how he ended up working at Saturday Night Live. Uh, we have one uh, called Outraged. This is by Ashley Dottie Charles. And this is uh, subtitled Why Everyone is Shouting and No One is Talking. And if you're on social media at all lately, you know that there's an awful lot of shouting going on. Um, but this is about um, people and how we're all so outraged about things. Um, but it's almost become um, exhausting. There's so many things to be outraged about. Uh, but how do we move from being outraged to actually um, affecting change in a positive way? Uh, so a short little book, but I'm sure it's very impactful and really interesting. So Outraged by Ashley Dottie Charles. Then uh, we have When Truth is All You Have by Jim McCloskey. And this is um, Jim's story about... Um, being at a cro crossroads in his life and meeting um, uh, an inmate who was a heroin addict who'd been convicted of murder. And he uh, told McCloskey that he was innocent. And uh, he, McCloskey decided that he believed, he believed this man and he was going to do everything he could to uh, get him out of jail. Um, so two years later, he ended up uh, managing to um, overturned this man's sentence and he was able to uh, be free and exonerated. So McCloskey uh, started um, the Centurion Ministries, which is um, a group that works on overturning wrongful convictions. And this is all about some of the many people that he met through his ministry and people that he was able to overturn their convictions and uh, their stories and what happened to them after they were able to uh, be free. So a really interesting story um, when truth is all you have. And we have a really inter interesting book called The Divine Miss Marble. This is A Life of Tennis Fame and Mystery by Robert Weintraub. And I've never heard of this woman before. This is what I love about um, libraries and bookstores is that you get to see all these really interesting books about people that you never even knew before existed. Um, but at the time that they were um, really popular, they were like, everybody knew about them. Uh, but we don't even know who this person is anymore. So this is a chance to learn about Miss Marble. And her name was Alice. And she was a a sports icon of the 1930s. She uh, was a tennis player and she actually won Wimbledon a few times. Um, amazing woman. And uh, at first it looked like her career was gonna be over because she was diagnosed with tuberculosis, but she took two years to um, fight, fight it and work on um, a grueling regimen to bring herself back to shape so that she could play at Wimbledon. And she did, and she ended up winning. Uh, she was friends with um, Carol Lombard and Clark Gable, William Randolph Hearst. She uh, really was um, very popular with a lot of people. She even coached Billie Jean King. Uh, but she also was involved in World War II in some mysterious ways. Um, there was a lot about her life that she didn't talk about. And uh, this author, Robert Weintraub, actually digs into some of the mysteries about her life and uh, what she did during World War II, what she really ever married uh, as she claimed she was, um, all sorts of really interesting, fascinating facts about uh, Miss Marble. So if you are missing Wimbledon this year, you can give Miss Marble a read and find out about Wimbledon and women um, playing tennis in the late 30s and 40s and 50s. Uh, so that is what I've got for nonfiction, and I will see you next week with some more new releases.